transfer an internal. Three minutes, 52 seconds. Delta IV on internal power. The common booster core liquid hydrogen and liquid oxygen tank securing will be started at T minus three minutes, 32 seconds, including closing the propellant fill and drain valves. T minus three minutes, 32 seconds. CBC propellant tank securing started. Vehicle transfer internal complete. A live shot from Jetty Park. Visitors and locals Campers, fishing okay, here at flight level. Space aficionados. Three minutes, three minutes, 14 seconds. All gathered to watch today's launch. CDC pre press started. T minus 307. Vehicle ordnance system will be armed, and the common booster core liquid oxygen and hydrogen prop tanks minutes. are Vehicle being verified. Army. T minus two minutes, 50 seconds. LH2, CBC secured. The liquid hydrogen common booster core tank is secured. Armed. Ordnance is armed. T minus two minutes, 31 seconds and counting. At two minutes prior to liftoff, the team will verify that the hydraulic from the common booster core Delta Hydrogen at second stage CSS and flight termination system battery voltages. Coming up on two minutes. T minus two minutes. GPA script running. Hydraulic okay. press at 4,000. Everything is go. At T minus one minute, 20 seconds, the team will begin securing the second stage liquid hydrogen tank. T minus one minute, 40 seconds. T minus one minute, 30 seconds. OLC, verify Orion nav transition is complete. LC, this is OLC, Orion nav transition is complete. 120. Second stage LH2 securing started. At T minus 60 seconds, the Eastern Range readiness will be verified. CBC LH2 at flight pressure and flight level. Working no issues. T minus one minute. Engine start box go. Roth, report range status. Range green. Fifty seconds. 45. Everything is good. Main power off. Main power off. 40. Upper stage LH2 secure at flight level. 35. 30. Status check. Go Delta. Go Orion. Brain board. 25. Flight lock in. T minus 20 seconds. 15. Rofi ignition. 10. The igniters have been lit. 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And liftoff at dawn. The dawn of Orion and a new era of American space exploration.
point. We have the hydrazine supply valve open in the second stage. One minute, 22 seconds in. Max Q, maximum dynamic pressure on the vehicle. Passing 124, Mach 1. Orion and Delta IV now transcending the speed of sound. One minute, 31 seconds in. Good engine control on the first stage. Coming up, one minute, 40 seconds. Velocity now, 1,341 feet per second. One minute, 50 seconds in. Still looking good. Coming up on two minutes. Two minutes into the flight. Good engine control on the first stage. Fourth and stronger boosters still at good uh, chamber pressures in the full power mode and the good core chamber pressure in the partial thrust mode at two minutes, 22 seconds in. Five seconds in, still looking good. Coming up on the two minute, 43 second mark. Mark, two minutes, 43 seconds. The Delta IV heavy boxer now gains weighs one half as much as the fitted launch, running propellant at the rate of 4,744 pounds per second. Three minutes, one second into the flight, still looking good. Passing Mach 5. Three minutes, 16 seconds in. Good engine control. Less than one half minute remains on three booster flight. Three minutes, 30 seconds in. We're standing by for the uh, Command to go to the partial thrust mode in the port and starboard booster. That command should occur about 10 seconds from now. Thrust command, port and starboard should be toggling down to the partial thrust mode. Standing by for main engine cutoff. We have cutoff in the port and starboard and separation. A good separation of the port and starboard boosters. Oh. Port booster now powering up to the full power mode. Four minutes, ten seconds into the flight. Good chamber pressure in the port. Uh, correction, good uh, chamber pressure in the core booster. At four minutes, eighteen seconds in. Four minutes, 25 seconds in, still looking good. Good engine control in the core. About one minute remaining on first stage flight. Four minutes, 46 seconds in, still looking good. Chamber pressure holding it very well in a core booster as we're approaching the five minute mark. Huh. Five minutes into the flight. Standing by to go to the partial thrust command, that partial thrust command about 15 seconds from now. Good engine control. Five minutes, 20 seconds in. And we have partial thrust command in the core. Core chamber pressure beginning to go down, as expected, standing by for Miko. We have Miko, the main engine has cut off, standing by for stage separation. We have stage separation. As is deploying, the nozzle has been extending, standing by for igniter spark. And we have igniter spark, and we have ignition. Ignition on the second stage. Second stage chamber pressures beginning to rise. 
This is Mission Control Houston. Uh, we're taking over commentary at this point as we come up on the first two critical Orion program milestones, the service module fairing panel jettison and the launch abort system jettison, standing by for those first two critical events. The uh, service panel uh, jettison uh, has occurred. The three 13 by 14 foot panels have separated. And we have launch abort system jettison. The 361 pound solid propellant motor has pulled the launch abort system free from the uh, upper stage and up from Orion. Everything going extremely well. The first two critical uh, milestones have been accomplished. And we are now processing uh, telemetry from the Orion spacecraft through the tracking and data relay satellite system. Coming up on the seven minute mark into the mission. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage now 127 miles in altitude, some 700 miles downrange from the Cape Canaveral Air Force Station. Reports here in Mission Control indicate that Orion's uh, guidance uh, systems are up and running in good shape. This view once again of the uh, service module fairing panel jettison that occurred uh, just about a minute and a half ago. We are now coming up on the eight minute mark into the flight. Orion and the Delta IV upper stage 142 statute miles in altitude almost 900 miles downrange from the Kennedy Space Center. GPS systems on Orion uh, have uh, come into full agreement uh, with navigation systems on the spacecraft. Orion is functioning perfectly at this point. Orion heading uh, almost due east from the Kennedy Space Center in an orbit inclined uh, just about 28.4 degrees to either side of the equator. Eight and a half minutes into the flight, the upper stage is currently traveling and carrying Orion to its preliminary orbit. Now traveling at a velocity of almost 14,000 miles an hour, its altitude flattening out. The uh, upper stage ignition uh, will continue for about uh, 11 minutes and 30 seconds from the time it 